It's a step back in time, a time when wooden boats ruled the world. Every second year, Hobart's Deepwater Port hosts one of the world's largest gathering of wooden boats. Bigger than Texas, isn't it? <laughs> really, it's, it's much bigger than I thought it would be. The Australian Wooden Boat Festival showcases Tasmania's rich maritime history. But this year, there's a decidedly American flavour. How's it going? It's going really yeah, well. Yeah, she looks beautiful. Thank Good. you. Good. The USA is the guest nation, and they arrive with two container loads of replica historic boats. And not to mention a round the world sailor and author. Casey Cronkite. Casey, you have run wooden boat festivals. You've been to virtually every single wooden boat festival in the world. What's so special about this one here in Tassie? Well, for starters, the size. Uh, when I asked some Americans yesterday that have been here for the first time, I've been in previous years, said, what was your first impression? And they said, gigantic. And that has to do with, in many ways, your natural waterfront location for this event with the Derwent River. It's an American extravaganza. But it was this little blue sailboat that captured everyone's hearts. A collaboration between the US and Tasmania. Uh, we worked with the Wooden Boat Center down in Franklin and uh, the whole idea of this project was to pull together two boat schools, one from the northwest of the US and then the local one here in Tassie. And it worked out beautifully. It, it, not only we combined students from both schools, but we combined the timbers from both regions. And if there's a medal for enthusiasm, it definitely goes to Susan St. John. Make sure your grommet is on your leather. Susan finished her wooden boat building apprenticeship last year at the tender age of 74. And today she's proudly taking the craft she helped build for a spin. Although the crew could do with a little polish. And in one, in two strokes, I'm going to have you hold water so we don't crash into these other boats. I think the message about wooden boats is they're accessible to everyone, aren't they? Well, the nice thing about them is that they are all in the water. Everybody loves them, and they're either tiny, you know, this long, if you stood it up on end, to huge, and they can sail, they can row, they can motor, and everybody is. It's a worldwide community.